Hey folks, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Bracken, and these are my six boys. What's your name? Um, Elijah, Noah, Silas, Ezra. My name is Joseph, and this is Tiny Notes from Home. I'm Forrest, and we hope to challenge, encourage, and inspire you on your journey with Jesus. We have a new little sister named Lydia, and our mom is, she's the best. Say hello, Lydia. Say hello. That's right, Lindsay is the best mom. She won't tell you that, and she wouldn't want me to say this, but we are very thankful to have her hard work and dedication to her family and her children. Uh, today, we are gonna follow her around and see what the day in the life of Lindsay looks like and answer some of your questions. But before we get to that, we have a quick announcement from our music channel, Sounds Like Rain. We've been working for months on our King Jesus album and it's finally finished and available for you today. This album includes seven songs, including an unreleased song called Lord Most High. As always, you can download our King Jesus album and all of our other albums for free on our website. We also have CDs available for sale now on our website, so please go check it out. And lastly, this album is available on all streaming platforms. We hope you'll be blessed and thank you for your love and support. So Lindsay, how does it feel to have our King Jesus album finally finished after all these months? It sure feels good. Um, we definitely have been working on it for over six months, I guess, and yeah, it was it was a good process. We really enjoy working on these songs, but it's always good to come to an end with a project like that. So that's right. So we're putting a, a bookend on our time in the studio for the summer, but that's not the last you'll hear from us musically. We will announce a little bit more about some new musical ventures somewhere in this video. So stay tuned. Okay, Lindsay, looks like Lydia is falling asleep. We're going to follow you around and see what it takes to get her down for her nap. And along the way, we'll ask you some questions. So I'm going to go behind the camera. Why don't you just take us on the rest of your journey for the day? Okie dokie. Yeah. Are you tired? I'm tired when I sit down too long. <laughs> All right, well, the first question comes from Firebride, and she asks, Hi, Lindsay, what is Lydia's personality like? Lydia's personality is very sweet, and she seems very easygoing for the most part. Um, not too fussy. She really likes people. She likes to be around people and make eye contact with people and have people talk to her, so... Yeah, we just love her. She's such a delight to us. The next question comes from Emily, and she asks, how do you deal with postpartum blues or depression? Have you ever had any of these, any of these experiences? I would say that, you know, postpartum time can be difficult for me. It is a tender time, and it is a time that um, I think women in general need to give themselves a lot of grace. Our culture in America does not give enough space to that time and just, you know, just to hold it up for what it is. And so it is a special time, but it is a challenging time, to be honest. <laughs> okay, and Karen asks, are you planning to write or sing a lullaby for your daughter or possibly a whole album? We are actually planning to do that. This has been an idea that I've had for several years and right now just seems like the right time. So um, I'm just kind of compiling different um, kind of old lullabies that I really enjoy. We're really looking forward to that. I hope it'll be a blessing. Okay, and Caroline asks, what is your morning and evening and homeschooling routine look like? Well, in the morning, I'm usually the first one to wake up and I like to have about 30 minutes at least of quiet before everyone wakes up. Once 
everyone gets up, then we, we make breakfast, and after breakfast, the boys have chores that they do. And then once all of the chores are finished, then we start in with school. Um, after school, um, then we, that normally brings us up to lunchtime. So during the afternoon time, I'll usually take that time to work on a special project or chore around the house. Finally, that brings us through the afternoon into getting ready for dinner. Um, I typically have at least one boy helping me make dinner or sometimes they'll take it on themselves and that's really helpful. Um, after dinner, each boy has cleanup that they do and then sometimes if we have time we'll do like a fun family activity and then we do Bible reading and prayer before bed. Really, I couldn't do what I do without the help of my boys. They really do a lot around here and I'm super thankful. So during today's afternoon, I'm going to be making up some soap for our Sparrow Song Soap. And if you have been looking for that or interested in getting some, we have plenty on the website right now and we hope to have it in stock throughout the summer. So after I had the baby, I took a couple month break from making soap, but now I'm starting to get back into that. We really appreciate all of your love and support with our soap company and feel free to check out the website sparrowsongsoap.net. We'll leave that in the description. So why don't you join me in the homeschool room and I'll answer some more questions in there. All right, Lindsay, so here we are in the homeschool room and Elizabeth, one of our patrons, has asked, how do you keep up with homeschooling while also taking care of Lydia? Thank you, Elizabeth, for your question and thank you for your support. Yeah, with having a new baby, it can be challenging to keep up with everything. Typically in the morning, Lydia takes a nap, so a lot of times while we're working on school, she'll be sleeping. If she's awake, then we'll set her on a little chair and she can just kind of hang out with us. But there are a lot of interruptions. We just kind of have to be flexible. The next question comes from Ellen. She asks, what have the boys been up to lately? We're gonna send them outside and let them answer that for you and I'll join you back at the garden in just a minute. What are you doing, Lysia? What you got? Diggers. Playing with diggers? What's this? An orange one. What is it? An orange one. An orange one? That's your orange truck? That's just like your your shirt too. Look at your shirt. What's on there? You got monster trucks on there? That's a nice one. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. No, what have you been doing uh, this spring? What do you like to do outside? Play with diggers. Your diggers, like this one? Yeah. And what other ones? Oh, this one. You like that one there? All right, Silas, what's one thing you've enjoyed doing this spring so far? I've liked going up in the woods and playing with Noah and Laja. What are you doing up there? Building forts and stuff. Laja, what have you enjoyed doing this spring so far? Um, I've been making my garden. Oh, what did you plant? some kale and some other stuff. Tell me about this cat. Um, this is Leo and he's our orange cat. He's really playful and he likes to hunt for animals. Hey, yo. <laughs> Joseph, what have you enjoyed doing this spring? Uh, we've been, us boys have been playing in our stream right here. We have a pretty deep swimming hole right here. And then further down the stream, we like to catch crawdads and salamanders. So that's really fun. Very good. All right, Forrest. Yes. What have you enjoyed doing this spring so far? Uh, I've been in the workshop a lot, so cleaning up and then uh, making some things, hopefully to maybe eventually sell on our website. These are some uh, cutting boards I've been working on, so this is an example of something we might sell in the future. Cool. Yeah, so I've been really enjoying working here. Good work. Yep. So if you all want to see more from Forrest in the wood shop, or if you're interested in any of his his products here, cutting boards and candle holders, leave a comment below. And also let us know if you'd like to see more videos from the boys in general. They really like uh, to share their lives with you. And if that would be a blessing for you and your children and your family, we'd be happy to make some more videos featuring the boys. Let us know in the comments. All right, Lindsay, that's what the boys have been up to. Do you want to show us what you've been up to in the garden? I would love to.
So one of our patrons, Paige, asks, we answered this a little earlier, but what does your daily devotional time look like? And Tanya asks, what do you enjoy doing when you have some quiet time to unwind and relax? Thank you, Paige, for your question. Um, so personal devotional time slash quiet time for me looks like, um, I wouldn't say that I have one way that I do that every single day, but I do find that the mornings are the best time for me to just focus my mind on the Lord and prepare for the day. I find that reading the Bible out loud for me is very helpful, and so when I do read the Bible, that's how I try to do it. Sometimes if I feel like my day is just getting too overwhelming, then I do need to take a time and just go and have quiet and like focus on a song or you know, sometimes even just writing things out helps me. With a busy family, it can be hard to find quiet time, but the Lord is always with me and I know that I can come to Him no matter where I am and no matter what I'm doing. All right, Lindsay, we're still early in the gardening season, but uh, tell me what you have planted so far. Okay, well, this bed, we have a lot of different cucumbers. We love cucumbers. Here we have green beans. <clears throat> Those are always a nice addition. And this garden bed is full of kale. We use kale for juicing and we like to make kale salad. And then here we have strawberries and some lettuces in here. And then this is all tomatoes and um, more tomatoes and some peppers in this bed. And then down here, this is all leftover from the fall collard greens that I'm going to pull out and probably put something else in here and then down here <clears throat> some winter squash so yeah I haven't been in the garden as much this year just with the baby I um, have been focused on that and it's harder to get outside but I just love being in the garden so it's one of my favorite places okay Lindsay thanks for showing us around your garden and thanks for your hard work down there my pleasure. And the last question comes from Anna, which we'll both answer, which is, what is the most challenging part of having uh, our family on YouTube? I would say the thing that comes to my mind right now is kind of like people exalting us or thinking that we have some attained something that we haven't. <laughs> yeah, we're just very normal and um, we have a lot of struggles. That, so that is a big challenge. Um, and then just, yeah, like, Feeling vulnerable, I guess sometimes I've struggled with that, just being out there and feeling vulnerable. Because we make these videos and they go out and we don't, we go on with our we don't life. know who's watching them. So yep. if you ever do see us somewhere, don't be afraid to say hello. We right. really love to meet you. And with that, we are going to say goodbye. Don't forget to check out our King Jesus album and Sparrow Song Soap. The links are in the description. And with that, we love you guys. God bless you. And we'll see you next time. And we'll time. see you next time. Thanks for watching.